Hi you guys, my name is Aubriana Henderson and um, Dr. Miller asked me if I could share my story and my experience um, at Prince George's Community College and then now at the University of Maryland. So I'm just gonna start back in high school. Um, I went to Bowie um, and I graduated with a 3.8 GPA, took a whole bunch of AP classes, um, I applied to several schools, got in, got accepted, um, but I decided not to go because I was the first in my family to be going to college. And I had a, I, I didn't have a lot of guidance on what to do or how to do it. And I also, my family's not financially well off, so I didn't really have the financial means to do that or figure that out at my age. So I decided to go to community college. Um, and my 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 schooling was paid for i was able to go for free um and i gained a lot of like knowledge and experience from like advisors and teachers like dr miller that helped me um continue my education here at the university of maryland and so my first research experience was with dr miller um in 2020 and as you know, it was in chemistry, but I'm now a kinesiology major at the University of Maryland. Um, and so his exposing me to research actually ignited my interest in it. Um, I hadn't previously thought of it as a career avenue, but after I pursued it with him, I was really interested in it. So when I got here to Maryland, I applied for a scholarship for research and I actually was the first person ever awarded it. So. I now work in the exercise physiology research lab. Um, I'm doing research on ATP production um, and how it's affected by exercise and aging. And I'll actually be doing a program. Um, I'm actually a part of another research program here at Maryland. I'll be doing it over the summer as well. Um, and so my first research experience with him was just very foundational for me and it helped inspire me into or inspire me to pursue research. Um, I actually want to go into research um, in physical cultural studies under the Department of Kinesiology and look at sociocultural influences on black athletes. Um, so once I graduate with my, my bachelor's in kines, um, I was looking to pursue a master's in sociology and then a PhD in kinesiology in the physical cultural studies department. All this to say that there are so many opportunities and avenues for your career and um, exploring different things, different facets of science and whatever else that you're interested in. I mean, social cultural influences on athletes is way different from chemistry, but you, you have to start somewhere um, and just take all the opportunities you can and learn from them. and create a network of people and have people that can guide you and help you along the way. And I think that's really important. So I really appreciate Dr. Miller being my first PI and um, helping me and guiding me on my journey. So yeah, thank you.